Well, this week we're gearing up for our Jack's Best campaign where you vote on your favorite mm -hmm. things in Jacksonville, all things local. Yeah, so something that caught our attention is the evolving art scene here in town. You've probably noticed some of the murals that are now on prominent buildings, specifically in the downtown area. Well, that doesn't just happen by chance. It takes a lot of work, as you might imagine, a lot of coordination as well. So, Mel, you uh, tooled around town. And there is a lot of art. In fact, Jacksonville is becoming an art mecca. Yeah. I, know. I remember when I first moved here. Now it's like 15 years, but I was like, I want to go to an art show and drink wine and <laughs> sip because I was in Little Salisbury, Maryland, and there is a lot here, yes, and there, there always is. has been. You know, Jacksonville always had great museums. You had Downtown Art Walk, but it wasn't until recent years that art, not graffiti, started popping up on the sides of major buildings. As you mentioned, it was a tough sell in the beginning, but the lady behind downtown's biggest murals says things have changed, and that is not the only place that is stretching its creative wings. Have you been to the downtown library lately? There is an art gallery tucked within the thousands of books all on the first floor. Right now, reclaimed, life beyond the landfill will get you thinking about how beautiful our trash can be in a second life. And he's used um, paper and basically mint magazines and money magazines, you know, those kind of mailers oh, that come yeah. with the coupons and people just throw them away. So this artist was compelled to not do that and to try to create something out of that. Shawana Brooks has been the library's arts and culture developer for three years. She's brought creative light to a space that reaches thousands of visitors. From kids to adults, art gets people talking. I've seen a tremendous payout and the engagement around people coming in and kind of being reminded of their stories of, of why the library was interesting to them in the first place. And visual literacy is so important. So maybe this wasn't the place that they expected to see this beautifully curated uh, artistic show that shows our local creatives. But you come in here and you get all of that for free. Just a block from the downtown library, you can see how art is evolving downtown. In a little more than three years, 31 of these huge murals have popped up downtown and it's definitely not random. Jessica Santiago had the vision years ago and knew it wasn't going to be easy to get the money or support to plaster some of Jacksonville's most prominent downtown buildings with paint. We would drive up and down the streets of downtown. We would get out and walk it. Our whole team would ride bikes and would look for the best walls, the largest, the ones that had the most traffic passing by them, the most impactful locations. One of the first murals is still the largest. It took three weeks to create and a 150 foot lift to get it done. The artist Rekka proved the vision could become reality. So when he first came here, we took him out on the on a boat to experience life on the river and the intercoastal. And he got to meet all the locals and go to our local museums and really be affected by the Florida lifestyle. And so a lot of what he experienced with the flora and fauna and the fish is all related to that. Santiago believes art is also the key to tourism and dollars for a city. She envisions Jacksonville as an art destination. And as she shows and proves that, she says community support grows. But now they see the work that we do. They know the quality and they're used to it. So it's great that now we're asked to do them. Isn't that awesome? And the idea that he didn't even know what he was going to create when he got here and just was affected by the environment. All right, so this week also is Public Art Week in Hemming Park downtown. All over city, all over town, there are lots of cool things going on. Hands-on art activities, art tours. Today, in fact, you can take a tour of the public art with the Hemming Park Walking Club and the Cultural Council that's at 11 this morning. Public Art Week runs through Sunday. There is a host of things going on every single day. We have a PDF that you can print yourself or you can view right now on newsforjacks.com. And go check out what looks like some kind of sculpture or yeah, something yeah, down at Hemming down Park because it was it being Yeah, they just unveiled they just unveiled cool. it. Yeah. yeah. I, lo I mean, honestly, it, I just forgot. I forgot. You know, you get or caught up with you your don't kids pay attention, and you don't you know, pay attention. Because you're busy and you yeah. don't stop and look at the, the murals. And I think I find them so fascinating because, you, you know, if you're coloring something on a paper, you kind of look back. How do you look back on a mural? It's like you have to get down off the scaffolding and walk, yeah. you know, a block and over. There are a lot of local artists here, too. Yeah. And you, surprisingly, you know where you see a lot of the local art? If you go into area restaurants, yeah. 
even local hair salons and things like that, a lot of the local artists yeah. are displayed there. Well, it was interesting because Santiago said that now she's not just getting these businesses asking for it on the outside of the walls. They're saying, what can we do on the inside of our businesses? Yeah. Like one of the banks downtown, they want to have a little gallery inside. So go to newsforjacks.com because yeah. all those murals, we have a number of them, and you can vote for your favorite. There you Love go. That. So to vote, head to, as Mel said, newsforjacks.com slash jacksbest and vote for your favorite local business or place. Local is the key here. Vote again July 1st, and we'll announce our first round of winners the week of July 8th, which is just around the corner. Now, tomorrow, we're going to show you another one of the 10 Jack's Best categories, um, fishing charters. Yeah, so there are nearly 100 local captains, can you believe it, who own fishing charters right here in our area. So I went out with this local fisherman uh, who wants veterans, as you can see, two veterans that he has taken out. Uh, you know, he wants them to know that... You know, their service, their sacrifice for our country is appreciated. This is local captain uh, Steve Mullen. We're going to show you how he's made a difference, specifically in one Clay County sh soldier's life, who we happened to talk to before he had to leave for deployment. He's in his first month of a six-month deployment, leaving his, his wife and his two daughters, and, and the difference that it makes just a day out on the water. I mean, I just, I, I probably was out there for about two hours, and it just changes your just whole dynamic of your day. It is so peaceful. Oh, being out on the water, uh, Just yeah. being out on the water is just beautiful, and it, it's just, uh, the things that he's doing to help local veterans, it's just, it's, it, it's certainly worth highlighting, which is why we'll, we'll have that story tomorrow.